Hi, this is Ron Tube. Today on the Hunter Colour War, we're taking our very first look at the Labrador Retrievers coming soon, November the 28th. Cost is going to be $5.99. Jack's has just gone live streaming them for the very first time, and we're doing a bit of a recap of that stream in case you missed it. So I've condensed all the information into a short video so you know what's going off and what we're getting in this Labrador Retriever update. So let's take a look, shall we? So there's seven fur variations, black, yellow, chocolate, silver, charcoal, fox red, and champagne. They retrieve class one animals. So for bird hunting, and they can swim. Can't wait to show you this. If you haven't already seen it, they can swim really fast and uh, well, and they're gonna be a very useful dog. And I can see a lot of people using these in the community. Not only that, I'm really surprised how fast they retrieve. Whether it's on land or in water, I'll show you in a minute when Jaxie shoots a golden eye out of the sky and he sends it in the water. They're quick. They get straight on it. And that's what I wanted. I was hoping there was not going to be too slow dawdle about so people wouldn't use them. But that's not the case. They're absolutely amazing. And like I say, on land or in water, they're fast. Now, Jaxie Beard's shown you you can rename your dog or name your dog even, which is a new feature. You can now rename your dogs in case you've called it something silly. And, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, you want to change it, but you can now actually do that. And um, what else should we go? Dog's efficiency becomes better the more you interact with it. They've added hotkeys to the wheel. There's no new great one with this dog release. So with the Labrador Retriever update, there's no new great ones. You can't have both dog breeds out at the same time. A lot of people wanted to know about this, whether you could have like a Bloodhound and a Labrador Retriever at the same time. Well, you can't do that. You can have one or the other. It doesn't flush. Cost of the dog is free for the first one in-game. So you, you have to obviously buy the DLC for $5.99. But in-game, the first one you get is free. And if you want to get any more after that, it's 45000 in-game credit. Now, I've got to give credit to Jaxi. He had an absolute nightmare with his setup. Uh, he was trying to stream off, and everything that could go wrong <laughs> did go wrong. It was amazing, actually, to, to see he actually carried on the stream, to be honest, because a lot of people would have uh, sacked it off and not bothered, but he, he soldiered through and ended up with a great stream. But uh, it was very entertaining, so well done, Jaxi. Tune into the streams each week on Tuesday for expansive worlds on youtube and twitch if you don't already now jaxi was showing us how the dog retrieves and this is what you want to see so for the first time jaxi shot a golden eye out of the sky it was on Reven Tuli coast and this is going to be an amazing place for labrador retrievers with how many bird species there is but look he's straight on it they also frolic around when you're running with them through water or on land so the animations are really well. <laughs> They've done a great job with them. Um, but what I like best is the speed of retrieval. It makes them useful. If they'd have been slow, a lot of people wouldn't have used them because they can just get straight on with it. And he's only just started using this one as well. So it's low level. So it will get better as he uses it. And uh, that was a quick retrieval. And that's just what we needed. It makes them an item we can actually use in game and are going to use in game so what a great addition so that's retrieving a golden eye on land they can retrieve class one animals now what you want to see is in the water because we didn't know if they could swim or not and for a lot of people that was a big deal we wanted to see him swimming in the water that would be pretty cool well guess what jackson's going to shoot another golden eye now and he's going to show us for the first time the labrador retriever swimming in the water and that's cool i didn't know if they'd add this animation if they'd make the dogs swim or not well they have done and that's going to be a big deal and this is another thing i was just talking about the speed of retrieval because if you can run collect the animal quicker than the dog can there's no point in using it so as you'll see now sends the dog out first time retrieving in water and look at him go he's straight in the water straight on to what you've shot this is going to be a game changer for waterfowl hunting especially i'm very pleasantly surprised and i'm glad i am what do you think about it let me know in the comments are you happy the labrador swim i don't think a lot of people thought they would do um i really don't 
So this is a game changer for waterfowl hunting. And Reven Tule Coast with a Labrador, going to be amazing fun. And uh, all the other reserves, but especially Reven Tule with how many bird species is there. It's going to transform, like I say, uh, class one hunting for animals. So can't wait to try this out myself. And Jaxa did tease that content creators will get early access the Friday before release, which is the 28th of November. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be in there getting my dog. I don't know what to call it. What you're going to call your Labrador Retriever? Let me know in the comments. What do you think to the Labrador Retrievers? Now you've seen it actually retrieve. And the traits, we're going to go over some of that in a minute. Uh, they can level up to level 30 as well. So you've got quite a bit of leveling you can do with them. But even at early levels, as you can see, they're fast, efficient, they become more efficient as you play with the dogs and um, treat them right. And basically, like I say, they'll get better and better. So I can't wait to see what these are like at level 30. <laughs> so Jackson was talking about German pointers because a lot of people wanted those as well as Labradors. Would you like those? He did say, like, let him know if you wanted those. Any other dog breeds, drop it in the comments. Like I say, I want to hear your feedback on these. What do you think? Now, we're just looking at the seven fur variations right now. So we've got black, yellow, chocolate, silver, charcoal, fox red, and champagne. They're the different fur variations. They all look good. Jax was commenting that some of the uh, like facial expressions and how they look is slightly different as well. So the devs have done a lot of work on these. He did say earlier in the stream that they've put literally as much effort into making these Labrador Retrievers as good as they are as they would like making a map it takes that long and uh, it's going to pay off all the hard work is going to pay off because like I said now we know they can go in water fetch ducks when you're slaughtering them you ain't got to run out your blind they'll bring them to your blind that's going to transform waterfowl hunting and um, all these little touches to attention to detail is going to pay off and that's what you should do. You should always try and do your best. And they've definitely done the best for these. They're looking great. The fur variations are great. Like I say, which fur variation are you going to pick for your dog? I might call mine bacon. I've got one called sausage. That's what my bloodhound's called. And I think I might have a Labrador called bacon. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what, what I should call it. If you come up with a good suggestion, I might call it that. But yes, uh... I'll definitely be doing a lot more class one animal hunting now. Now we've got these dogs. And I think a lot of the community will as well. Is it time to bring a new great one, level one animal? Now we've got the dogs. That would be cool. It would be different, but which would you add? I don't know how you'd make a small animal a great one. It'd be very interesting how that would work. But uh, there's been talk about it over the last few years of making like a, a bird class one animal as a great one would you like that would you rather have a big trophy animal let me know in the comments what you think about that but these dogs are going to go down well i can see this being a good update obviously we'll get other things with the update um but we won't know about that till patch notes day but i must say i'm very impressed with what i've seen up to yet at first some people were slightly disappointed I'm going to include myself in that, that there wasn't going to be a new map for December. But now I've seen these, I can tell they've put in the work. So congrats to Hunter Call of Wild Devs. You've done a smashing job on these. These are going to be very popular. And now I know why we've got these. And then 2024, we've got a new map as well. And they're trying to make an absolutely amazing map. The best map ever for the Hunter Call of Wild. That's why it's taken a bit longer than normal and uh it's, i can't wait i can't wait to see where we're going next we've got labrador retrievers it couldn't get better from here so let me know what you think right so on to trait so here's jaxi showing you can basically level up to level 30 with labrador retrievers and he goes through these traits so i'll just let you look at them i'm not going to describe them all but as you can see level 5 level 10 level 15 20 25 and 30. So 30 is the max. But some of these are very interesting traits and you're going to have to select some of them, what you're going to have. Um, some are very interesting, like... So, like, carrying animals better, retrieving them faster. There's a lot of different traits and what you pick is obviously going to make your dog 
sort of your dog basically or based off what you select so it's gonna be very important what you select and uh, how to get the best out of your dog but as you can see they put a lot of work into these they've not just bashed them out and uh, this is why like i say when you put the work in and the effort in you get the results and these are looking great so i'll ask you in the comments what is your favorite fur variation we've got black yellow chocolate silver charcoal fox red and champagne let me know in the comments you see in videos i've already done about labradors and during the live stream a lot of people was like i've got one of these labradors and it's a yellow or it's a chocolate so a lot of people actually got these dogs so they'll be calling them the same names they've got the same fur variation so they'll be making them the same so it's going to add a lot of um sort of reality to the gameplay because people will be like that's my dog <laughs> i'm up to my dog in my game so sort of an attachment sort of thing but it's good as well to have something out with you it sort of adds to the sort of the experience as well so dogs do add a lot to the gaming experience and like i say they've done them well so that's all that sort of matters i was just hoping they weren't going to be like slow at retrieving we've already seen that's not the case we've already seen that they also swim that's a game changer for me. Knowing they dive in the water, collect the ducks. That means now I will hunt ducks more often. So that one little addition to the game, it's not a little addition, it's a lot of, a lot of addition, but that addition to the Hunt the Colour Wild means I will hunt ducks more. So that's just a simple, great addition, isn't it? If you're going to do something more just because something's been added, then it's a success. So I'm Ron McChew. We've been taking our first look at Jaxi Bird live streaming for Expansive Worlds, the brand new Labrador Retrievers coming on November the 28th for $5.99. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.